I have a Mac, so this video is to show very quickly some of the um, uh, technique that I use to do a run as face. Um, it's not really something that is, uh, I did not see that method being used in Blender a lot, um, but that's the method that works for me. So I'm just going to show it quickly, but here is uh, some of the features of Rene for the face. Second eye control for the eyes. Second eye control for the mouse. Mouse. Um, ball. And then you can have eight and more individual modes. So control here or <coughs> the jaw if you need to move them and for the tone. start to be pretty nice. I think I can also make him a nice kissy face. Let's try to do that. That's Rene's face. Pretty happy with it. So, how did I do it? I will just show you. Okay, so let's go back to normal face. So, the techniques that I used, I'm uh, often speaking of layering deformation, and that's why. I have four different armatures here, and for me it's like different layers of deformation uh, on top of each other, and actually the order is very important. So usually I will start with smaller details to bigger moves. So here are the four different armatures for the face. Um, so here you can see the ones that will move um, some secondary movement for the mouth. Um, here for the eyes, some secondary movement, uh, the nose. And if I put them together, you can see it like more showing all of my difference uh, points for the for the face. So if uh, they are usually driven by um, drivers. So, for example, for my ball, you can see that that armature moves um, the ball out. 
out but if I was to move that you can see that no, nothing happened in this amateur um, if I move this one so you can see that it goes up and down uh, on the side but it doesn't even move up and down for example if I see, show you what it does on one and uh, so to kind of give the feeling of muscles rotating and the flesh rotating instead of translating this one is rotating at the pivot here so kind of pulling the flesh a little bit inside as I go and this one is moving on the side to pull the flesh to imitate uh, that bump that we have so now we have another one here this one is just going up and down and for the eyes it's the same thing here you have this one here and here you have the side one uh, so and here is my last one of my last one here and this one is the eyebrows and you can see that uh, also one thing that I especially like to do is having an arc here for the eyebrows to kind of like follow that nicely follow the skull nicely and uh, I have one here and again it's a rotation around this point so that there is a feeling of like the flesh sliding on the jaw so the most difficult thing for using this kind of setup is that uh, to paint the weight but when I paint the weight on each character then I can assemble it together and so it gives me that so let's take off so again layering animation you can see here I have so let's just hold this too okay but here it's not working now I layer one more so uh, I will layer that one so now you can see that it moves on the side and then moves up and down too so it's just uh, different layers of deformation um, that are all put into one rig at the end. I hope uh, that makes a little bit of sense.